Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Naomi Rujizo, and I'll be your host today talking about different issues, what is happening in our country. So, so far, we are stuck in a pandemic, or others would like to say a panorama. So, today I'm going to talk about how people have been affected, specifically people in relationships, people in marriages, families, friendships, how those people have really been stuck in those really sticky situations. So obviously we have to social distance and I'm pretty sure you guys have watched the movie Five Feet Apart. We have to be five or six feet apart from different people and that really sucks to be quite honest. So as we talk about these issues, I'm going to have a special guest with me talking to us about how they've tried to maintain a relationship in a pandemic. So stay tuned with me and meet me after the break. And welcome back once again to our favorite, most favorite show, talking about the pandemic. So, with here with me today is my special guest with me, Nish. Nish, introduce yourself. Okay. Hello, I'm Nish. Taku Nish, short for Taku Zwani Shamba. We'll be talking about the pandemic and how it has affected relationships. Are you in a relationship? Yes. And how exactly have you been coping during lockdown? The lockdown has forced people to be in a long distance relationship. Well, it's been hard. Hard in what sense? Very hard. Um, hard is in lacking intimacy or lacking seeing the person, the love of your life or your soulmate. You know, sometimes it's hard to just deal with imaginations. Like imagining if the person was here. I need to see someone, I need to feel the presence, I need to, to know that she is okay, she is okay. Not that she is okay, she is okay, she is okay, just perform because there is no voice. Besides hearing the voice, right, we've got these online platforms. So have you managed to do a video call? Because yes, you're saying you can just hear her say, I'm okay. What about seeing her in the video call? I'll issue her Instagram and what. I believe it's for fake people. I need to have a specific look that I can maintain, right. which I can't do that. Instagram, it allows people to see the, the face, the video, but specifically, you're not going for people, you're going for the one, you know, the one you want. Maybe in the part of Nagasara, but then I, I, I think it's useless. So how exactly have you been managing to see her in the lockdown? Well, I go there. Physically? Yeah. With the police and the stops and the cutoffs, how exactly have you been channeling your way to her? Mushi. How? No sacrifice, no victory. No mushi. Wow. So you more about how exactly has been channeling his way to the one that he loves. And we're back once again talking about Umjol. So here with me today now, who's actually now joined us, is Hawaii, aka the girlfriend, aka Bay Buthang. Please introduce yourself. Hello viewers, uh, my name is Moment and I am Takunish's girlfriend. That, yeah, I was away from SA, feel happy. She's <laughs> girlfriend, wifey. Having come all this way, clearly this is now a short distance relationship, seeing there's not much of a gap there. How are you feeling, Nish? Oh, I had surprises and she knows that. Right, you hate surprises, but this is the I'm not happy. Life. <laughs> I'm not happy. That wasn't the idea. So why aren't you happy? Okay, apart from what I was saying earlier, we mm -hmm. have issues. And here being here, I, I don't think it's actually wise. But haven't those <laughs> issues been wiped off the slate since now she's here? Because, I mean, those issues were caused by the pandemic. She is an Instagram person. She's an Instagram I'm not. person. Right. She's a social media person. No, I'm, and I'm not. Right. And how do you expect me to feel? Okay, how I have do a, I know? I have a you question are, you for are you. Many guys like her. Mhm. Mm when my likes, baby, in I go comment section, I go go say, eh, hey, hey, hey. even this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, good. This is not fun. But see, when I'm my face saying, hey, cutie, hey, what? How do you expect me to feel? Yet she blames me because she's not insecure. Do you see insecurity in no, me? No, they just she's say they're just right. Right. And she's okay. provoking me. You understand? Okay. Speaking of Instagram, right? Are you yourself on Instagram? No, I'm not. Why aren't you on Instagram? I mean, okay. Wow. Let me just quickly define something. What do you like to define as the new normal? Because new normal, it means social media presence because that is where we can see people. That is where we can see wifey. That is where you can interact with them. And stand you know, your you ground know, that you know, this you she know is my problem one. is, mm -hmm. advantage and disadvantage. Right. 
Maybe you you're only focusing on the advantages of of the new norm of, of, of social media, right. but you you haven't considered the disadvantages of social media. Right. You know, recently she was crying, and it, I can tell you the same person I'm going to be there on Instagram. Hey, account, my account has been hacked. Her post was in a series. Of, how do I know she's not the one who posted it? No, right. But you but see, wait, you see, we are down. having issues mm-hmm. because of something we can control. She's not doing anything. She's not acting up. And it, and you expect me to be in a relationship like that? And it, I'm not a part of. Uh, so boyfriend. okay, what are you saying? So what are you saying in front of the camera? What are you saying? Are you blaming me for having an Instagram account? It's just. I I am a social light. What do you want me to do? Okay, but wait, slow down. Speaking of advantages, have you yourself you taken know, those advantages? You know, it's so ungrateful. I because... came all the way here for you, and this is how you right. treat me from the camera. Right. Mind what how you speak. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take a break once again, and I'll meet you once again and talk about the advantages of social media presence in the new normal. So. And we're back yet again talking about Njolo in a pandemic. So now seeing how tense the situation has become, we have changed the situation. So here with me now is our very own special expert counselor guest, Wally J. Yes, my name is Mr. Wiggins. You may call me Wally J, but professionally they call me Mr. Wiggins. I have come. I can see that you are having the greatest troubles in a relationship. Yes. You will lose more. Right. So in the previous segment, we talked about how they're trying to maintain a relationship in a new normal. So the social media presence has been quite troublesome for Sir Nish and Madame Moments. So seeing how we've addressed their situation, Nish feels troubled in trying to communicate with her, seeing that he's been hacked, she's been trying to keep up with him. So, dear Wally J, how exactly do you think they should go about this situation? Firstly, I'll ask you, Mr. Tukudwa Nishamba, Nesh, what is it that is really bothering you about this long-distance relationship with, with her? Okay, thank you very much. Mm. Am I allowed to use a question to answer? Yes, you may. How would you feel knowing that there are 5,000 people sending friend requests to your girlfriend and she accepts? How do you feel? Insecure. Yes, and she's blaming me for that. That's a problem that we're having. She's always on social media, always looking for likes, always looking for fame. And how do you expect me to handle that? Yes, my dear, it would seem that your behavior is making you very insecure. You can't have 5,000 people surrounding you each and every single day. Not not just 5,000 people. Mm. Among the 5,000, only a quarter girls. A quarter girls. Then three quarters boys. It's mostly men. That's we're talking 4,500 men yeah. in so, your DM. So, so to me, she's, some, every single she's day. someone who is accommodative, who is not selective. Ah. How do you expect me to do with that? How, how do I feel important? How do I feel special? My dear, look at me. When you are in a relationship, there is one word you need to consider. It is called exclusivity. <laughs> which means it's just you. You and him. The two of you, Muri one, Jem Bible says as a good one flesh. Quit also did the Nanya Mania made the room where you go combine. It doesn't make sense, my dear. Okay, let me get you the one. Um, social media is just a place to be to express how I feel. In and I'm social media. She's defensive. No, listen, That's the you, I'm the one who's talking. Listen, she's defensive. You, you see the way listen, she's talking, talking right no. now. That's it's a problem like, that we have. At least, if it's, at least if it's in person, I, I, I will have a time to, to interact like this, to communicate with her, a request for friends, you know, like what you're doing uh, at this show. Everybody but on she's social not, media knows she's I'm not in a relationship with him. They're just sending no, me It's not like I'll be meeting those guys. Okay. Right, I have one you. question for you too. How exactly have you decided to use social media to see her? What initiative have you taken? Because earlier, much earlier in the first segment, you talked about advantages. Have you taken at least one advantage one to accommodate advantage her? I have taken is WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. That's a social media. Yeah, it is. I use WhatsApp. Yes. Don't I, don't I send voice notes? 
Don't we talk? They are not Don't we enough. send pictures? When I'm doing something, I let you know. So wait, wait. You are saying those voice notes are not enough. Are yes. those 4,500 potential suitors enough for you? No. Uh, come on, listen, you That's guys. what she's trying to say. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm that's just the, saying that's the, the voice notes are not that, enough. That, that you are creating. He's never online. He's always working. He's always busy working. And hundreds of my voice notes. How do you expect me to feel? I respond, but you respond maybe tomorrow. Uh -huh. Oh, so now you're you saying see. that the 4,500 meaning your DMs respond faster? No. I yes. didn't say that. Text uh -uh. me, listen, I'm Wait. just live can expressing I, can I, can how I, I feel. I'm trying to help other people in their relationship. You see, you see, you see the problem that we're having. She doesn't want me to talk. <laughs> you, okay, can I talk? I no, every point. time you talk, you control me. Let, let me ask you one more question, right? Okay. Okay. How, actually, why exactly would not you be available? Yes. Why wouldn't you be available to make sure you're communicating with her? Because clearly okay. she's responding immediately, but you're can not I, there. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. Can I answer? Yes. Being in a relationship doesn't mean I'm supposed to talk to the person I love every minute I see them online. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Right. That's the problem. Number two, social media is for social people. That's why you see you are allowed to create groups. Right. When I want to talk about something important, I would rather call. I call you when I have something important to say. Okay. When I'm settled, when I'm not at work, I make sure I call. Don't I call you? But she wants me to call for an hour. Okay, let me interject you right there. How do you expect right me to call for an hour? Mm -hmm. Too Remember, much of everything is poisonous. You understand? We are talking over the phone. I always tell you, too much of everything is poison. Okay. 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 Those are not guaranteed to explain around you. You you want to be guaranteed frequent. We can't be that frequent because at the end of the day, she wants money. That and shows the relationship is right. We love each other. If we love each other, one hour hard. is nothing. How do, how do you expect me to buy you stuff when I'm not one working? One hour is nothing. At least you should just okay, pay after work. Okay, you see what your problem is? Both one. of you. Both of you. You yes. see what your problem is? I see your problems. You, you, my friend, you feel threatened by each and every single person coming to her. You right. have an, a lot of free time on your hands, which creates a void. And you want him to fill that void, but he can't fill that void because he is busy, he is a man. He needs to provide for who? For you. So you need to find a way to occupy your time without looking for 4,500 million on social media. Leave your phone, pick up a book, Okay, I'm an event degree. planner. I work online. I search for venues, so that's how I meet so up with people. ignore the people, the 4,500 Varume that are coming to your DMs. Ignore them. He's focus lying. on your work. Uh -uh, uh -uh. He's lying. Don't, don't okay, lying. Let me just I interject you right there. Okay. Here's the main problem. We're in a pandemic, in but a situation where I, I, I wanted to say something. Maybe, right. maybe it was going to. to, to be okay, awesome. let me let me just say this yeah. so that you can further elaborate on this, right? Mm. And including you, doctor. Yes. What is your view on the fact that you are in a pandemic, right? The new normal is social media. Yes, social media. We say social, but business is online. Like you said, she's an event planner, right? And doc, how exactly do you think is the best way forward? Seeing that, trying to adapt to a new normal, but also trying to accommodate their relationship because. He's not as frequent enough because clearly he's a hardworking man. And she needs to be consistently online to accommodate for her social media presence and her business. What is the best way forward for them both? Best way forward? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to be exclusive. Like I said before, exclusivity is important. So you are going to have to find a way to accommodate him or for you to accommodate her in a formal way that includes the two of you only without others seeing that you're online. I recommend Zoom call. You schedule Zoom meetings whenever you are free. Whenever she is free. She's always on her phone, as you said. You are always planning. When you, you are free most of the time, create a Zoom meeting. Join the Zoom meeting. Talk to each other. Get things out. You stop making him feel threatened by all those men. But I'm not okay. I'm not How can I stop the men from sending requests? They just send sometimes. No. I don't even respond decline. to them. Decline. I okay. decline okay. them. Not business. Okay. But they're always 24-7. But see, I decline. You, you see, you see your problem. I decline. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem. Hey, 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 that's the problem. Just words. What's <laughs> can I watch in Jidaka? You listen mm. to what I want. Mm. And I'm not saying good Are you conditional love or what. I'm not controlling. Stop that. Who's that? I tell my issues and my friends are good, right? My friends are going to get into them controlling. Mm -hmm. But then you see the issue is the point. You would be worried. You know, of course, you're saying what you don't need. You don't talk to, to, to all those boys. Basically, don't visit. I make sure I go through the phone and check out anything. But 
Isi ma messages eba kuma na kano di ma compliments ano piwa aji accepta endi jesus jesus na min crush na chichi why 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 with my eyes is against is not your name muromo wako if she is loyal ngai te basa rake ndoona makeke ndoona kama places that you are with why why we post as in the series all right i have one question do you love him i do but sometimes it makes me doubt my love for him all right do you love her i do right in this pandemic situation do you feel like you've grown tighter or you've grown apart honestly I feel like we're growing apart. This is making this pandemic is destroying my relationship. It is right. Destroying. That is Mjolo in a pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time, Nomsa. Thank you for your time, Nish. I'm pretty sure behind the scenes we'll be able to sort this out with the doctor and seek the seeking times on when exactly to consult Dr. Wally J. Thank you so much for your time. This is Mjolo in a pandemic. Signing out. Mm-hmm.